world is closer than it has ever been to eradicating both wild polio virus and circulating vaccine-derived polio viruses. This video will explain how we are gradually phasing out the oral polio vaccine starting from April 2016. This important step will prevent new strains of circulating vaccine-derived polio viruses from being able to emerge. And this, in turn, will bring us even closer to achieving our goal of a polio-free world. The oral polio vaccine has three components, one for protecting children against each of the three types of wild viruses. Routine immunization programs and polio campaigns have mostly used what we call the trivalent oral polio vaccine because it contains all three components. Wild polio virus type 2 has already been eradicated thanks to the oral polio vaccine. So for the last few years, we have also been able to start using a version of the vaccine called bivalent, which protects children against poliovirus type 1 and poliovirus type 3. Once wild poliovirus type 1 and 3 have also been declared eradicated, we will be able to stop the use of the oral polio vaccine altogether. This bivalent vaccine has two advantages. Firstly, it cannot lead to type 2 circulating vaccine-derived polioviruses, which cause 90% of the vaccine-derived polio cases. And secondly, it gives children stronger protection against type 1s and type 3. Because of these advantages, every country in the world that currently uses the trivalent oral polio vaccine will shift to using the bivalent vaccine in a two-week window. This is called the switch. The fact that we are ready for the switch is a sign that we have come a long way in our journey to stop all polioviruses. And we are confident that all countries will play their part by implementing this globally synchronized switch in vaccine types. Getting ready for the switch from the trivalent to bivalent oral polio vaccine has required thousands of people around the world to contribute their expertise, their skills, and time. The switch will take place between the 17th of April and the 1st of May 2016. 155 countries and territories will pick one day during these two weeks, and just like that, they will stop using the trivalent vaccine and begin using the bivalent vaccine instead. The switch will need a significant amount of preparation and commitment from everyone involved. It will require the support of national decision and policymakers to guide all of the planning to make the switch possible. Lots of work has already gone into preparations, and the days ahead will be the most important yet. On the national switch day itself, all the vaccine vials containing the trivalent vaccine will need to be removed from the immunization system and replaced with a bivalent vaccine so everything runs smoothly. From this day onward, the country will only use the bivalent vaccine. It is crucial that every country works to the same time frame in April so that no children are left vulnerable to type 2 circulating vaccine-derived polioviruses that could emerge if some countries continue to use the oral polio vaccine containing the type 2 component. To make doubly sure that no trivalent vaccine will be used after this date, monitors will visit health facilities to check that it is no longer being used. This is the biggest globally coordinated project of its kind in the history of vaccines. This one change will make a huge difference to the world's children, removing the biggest cause of vaccine-derived polioviruses in one go. The months ahead will be crucial to make sure every detail is addressed, and we thank everyone involved for all of their contributions to make this a success, because we know that this will take us a major stride closer to eradicating all types of polio. This project demonstrates what can be achieved on a global scale when we all work together to protect children. Thank you for watching.